When I hear the term, every generation rallies, I think of teamwork amongst all ages, and I think of legacy building. Uh, from a biblical perspective, God talks about reaching the generations in Genesis 17, providing an everlasting covenant to, to be God to his people and the generations after. Psalm 78 talks about the vision of, of God's ways being passed down from one generation to the next. God's plan is for all generations to work together to build his house and to reach a lost world with the gospel. To me, this means that members and friends of Southport Prez from 6 to 95 are committed to making meaningful connections to unchurched families with young children. It means we are committed to loving these families and sharing the gospel with them. This is radical love that is at the very heart of what Jesus taught us. Well, I feel that it means there's a role or a place for everyone to participate and to try to act out what God would call them to do. Uh, the first thing you need to have is a good relationship with the Lord. Not only uh, prayer and study, but also a relationship with other people as you share uh, God with them. So. Every generation means that everyone can have a relationship with the Lord and they need to make sure that they are hearing what He says, what He's calling them to do, and then to be ready and willing. And I know sometimes that's hard for people, but if He's calling us into service of some kind or volunteering for a committee or a program, or maybe it's just helping someone, who is at home that needs a friend, maybe a phone call or a card, just to listen to what God is calling us to do and be there, whatever age we are. Maybe that phrase, you know, having, having a community, uh, needing a community to help um, raise your children um, is, is one of the attractive things uh, to me in the new vision, and I think it, it just runs with exactly who uh, Southport Press has been in the past. Um, and kind of points us to continuing that same strength in the future. We, we've raised our children in this church and we have been incredibly blessed by all generations, whether it was people um, being counselors at camps or running Bible studies or even praying for us. I remember one time as a young mom um, being a, a cabin counselor and you know, those days are frantic when you've got little kids and you're, and you're trying to just get everything done. And there was a card on the bed from an older lady in this church saying, hey, I've been praying for you and, and thinking about you. And I just felt like when, when Moses had his arms lifted up, you know, and I thought someone else has been lifting up my arms. And, and we've, we've benefited from that. Benefit's not really the right word, but we've just been so um, loved and encouraged by that, that we are so filled with gratitude. We wanna pass that on now to other families.